Pamplona Mayor Janice Digamo, widow of the slain Negros Oriental Governor Ruel Digamo, believes that the 3rd District Representative of the Province of Negros Oriental, Arnulfo Tevez Jr., is involved in what transpired in the province. House Secretary General Reginald Velasco has confirmed that the House of Representatives already received the letter of Mayor Digamo. We have received it. Uh... And uh, ito ay pag-aaralan naman ng legal department namin. Matindi yung yung ano no yung request niya expulsion. Eh yung expulsion naman ng for any house member, may proseso rin yan. May proseso rin, may procedure din yan. Again, i-refer din namin eventually yan sa Committee on Ethics. No? Kasi related yan do sa 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 tingin namin related yan sa kaso ni Congressman Arnie Tevez. Congressman Tevez is already facing a 60-day suspension after the lawmakers in the House unanimously voted in favor of the recommendation of the Committee on Ethics and Privileges. According to Velasco, the legal department will look into the said letter and will refer it to the Ethics Committee. The Committee on Ethics can recommend uh, Another uh, disciplinary measure no, against uh, Congressman Arnie Tebes. But we don't want to preclude the Committee on Ethics. We will have to await the decision of the Committee on Ethics no, on what to do with this new uh, development. Meanwhile, Nueva Ecija 3rd District Representative and Vice Chairman of Ethics Committee Rosana Ria Vergara reiterated that the committee did not rush into a decision regarding Tevez's case. Dito sa kaso nito, ni Congressman Arnie Tevez, uh, the chair together with the members of the Committee of Ethics and Privileges deemed it just um, proper to suspend those so that we could uh, properly investigate and um, also give Congressman Arnie Tevez um, ample time. I'm confident that the committee did its job and uh, I, I think the Supreme Court will, will look at the records and find that we did not um, transgress any rules. This was amid the comment of Congressman Tevez's legal counsel seeking an explanation on the plenary's decision. Legal counsel attorney Ferdinand Topasho said the proceedings was rushed. He also said that they will submit a letter asking for a clarification on certain matters, including the suspension of two rulings. This includes providing a two-day notice to call for a special session, and Congressman Arnie Tevez should have been given 10 days to respond instead of five days. Ang hindi ko po maunawahan, from my point of view as a lawyer, is what accounted for the urgency. Kasi, uh, iisa lang naman pong tao, iisa lang uh, kaanib ng Kamara de Representante si Congressman Tevez. So bakit uh, naging fixated sila na mag-appear siya personally to the extent na uh, two items in the rules were suspended? Authority Tapasho, meanwhile, assured the public that his client continues to work and provides service to his constituents. Eileen Cerudo, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.